Hey, good morning. This is Chris Menard. Today is Sunday, April 5th. This is a video about a major announcement from Zoom regarding Zoom bombing and steps they have taken uh, for security. So I have actually from Zoom support website pulled up uh, saying on April 4th these changes were made. One, waiting rooms have been enabled. So that is now the default. The second major change is passwords are now required. Whether you're scheduling a meeting or doing an instant meeting, passwords are required and you can't turn them off. But to be clear about this, if you keep reading down below, right before that video, it applies actually to only two different kind of accounts. The free accounts, which Zoom calls basic, and to single licensed users, which is called a pro account, but it also includes K-12 educational accounts. So here from Zoom's website are the four different accounts they have. So it applies to two of them, starting with the far left, the free one, which is called basic, and then the pro, which is what I have. But we also have business and enterprise. And so I'm assuming, making an assumption here that Zoom is letting the people that have business accounts who have an admin handle the way they want to do this. I actually like what they're doing here because there's been a lot of issues with Zoom, people popping into meetings and showing inappropriate material. So I'm not going to sit here and go through this entire um, support page. I'll put a link down below uh, in my YouTube video. So just expand it. I'll put timestamps because here's what I'm covering. So I'll be honest with you, even if you don't have the free or the pro account, you probably need to hang around for this video. So for Zoom, um, we got the waiting room and we got now required passwords. With Zoom, there are two types of meetings you can have. You can do a join now meeting or meet now, which they call an instant meeting or you can do a scheduled meeting. But with either one of those, you have to have the password. So not only do you have to have the password, you can decide though whether you need to use your personal meeting ID or you can have the ID generated automatically and I'll discuss those. So let me go ahead and show you how this works as an example. First I'm gonna show you my settings. So let me pop this up. I've already signed in to my Zoom account. Uh, I've gone over to settings. I'm on the pro. I notice when I scroll down here, require a password when scheduling new meetings. It's been locked by admin. That was not there until yesterday. Require a password for instant meetings. Locked by admin. So basically, I need a password for any meetings. So I'm also going to touch in this video right now. I'm going to touch in this video. What happens since a password is now required and today is April 5th, what happens if you scheduled a meeting for after April 5th, meaning April 6th, 7th, 8th, I don't care when, but after today's date because the password's required, what are you going to do if you set up the meeting and you didn't have the password turned on feature. So I'm going to show you how to handle that because people won't be able to get into your meeting without the password. I'll discuss that too. Anyway, lock by admin, lock by admin. One more here. <clears throat> Require password for participants joining by phone. Lock by admin. And if you also recall back from that um, Waiting room feature is enabled by default. I scroll way down in my settings. I'm still in settings. I could probably do a control F and find this. Waiting room. There is the default. Notice it doesn't say locked by admin like the ones above it did. So I could turn this off. I'm going to do a reset. I'm going to talk about waiting rooms in general tomorrow morning. Uh, Monday, April 6th, I'll have the video up. But for right now, I'm going to show you how the feature works. But for right now, you may want to come and turn this off until you know how waiting rooms work. 
but I'm going to leave mine running for right now. So let me go ahead and jump back into Zoom now. So now I'm going to pull up the Zoom app, my pro account. Perfect. Here we go. Let's test this if the password is required no matter what. So I told you there are two types of meetings that you can set up with Zoom. A scheduled meeting or an instant meeting, which is join now. Here is scheduled. Here is instant meeting, which they say new meeting. I'm going to do the scheduled first. So when I hit scheduled, um, 9 o'clock, let's make this 15 minutes just to test it. It really doesn't matter. Look. Meeting ID. I can either use my personal meeting ID, which is right here. That meeting ID is unique to me. So now you actually know it because you're watching this video. I'll change that after this video. Generate automatically. It's going to generate uh, the number automatically. So I don't even know what it is yet. Till I'll schedule it. I recommend the generate automatically if you're meeting with people you don't know. Always recommend that. There's the meeting password. If I schedule another meeting, after this one, so I go through with this one, and I do the same steps, it'll generate a different meeting ID than this one. If I use my personal, it'll always use my personal. So generate automatically. Outlook, and here are those features. I've been playing around here, but that is that was checked by default. I don't want to use the waiting room right now because don't use the waiting room unless you know how to use it. Uncheck it. Enable join before host. Schedule. Watch this. Outlook is already running for me. So this popped into Outlook. I also tested this with Google Calendar and it worked. So there is my meeting ID and there is the password right below it. So how do people join this meeting? If I send this email out and a participant receives it, Zoom was smart enough to put in the URL the password. They can just click this and they will go right into the meeting they will not have to type in the password. So that's good. But the password is required. That link has it in there. If you notice, it says PWD. There's a bunch of stuff behind it. So they'll go right into the meeting. But now if someone doesn't have this link, and I'm going to have to do a couple screenshots here to show you this. I've already done them. If someone doesn't have this link, Back here, back here in the Zoom controls, you've seen this in the Zoom app. They would click on join. This is how you join a meeting just randomly. Then the next screen they see would say, okay, put in the meeting, uh, put in the meeting ID, which for me, one zero three zero two three five two one and then the next screen they see would be this one right here put in the meeting password so these people would have to have the password and put it in and this is where I'm worried about people that have scheduled meetings in the future from here and again I'll get to that in just a second so here we go again join type in the ID put in the password which you have to know they're doing this to help people from Zoom bombing. So that's that one. I'm going to close Outlook just for now. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And again, I'm just going to remind you that the timestamps are down below. So if you want to click somewhere and jump, you can. The next one is if I want to meet immediately or meet right now, an instant meeting. My video is off, but if you click here, do you want to start with video or without? I don't care about that one. I'm going to leave it without. Do I want to use my personal meeting ID? I usually do when I'm meeting now with somebody. There's my personal meeting ID. Watch what happens.
I'm in the meeting. I don't care about that right now. So when someone types in my personal meeting ID, which again is up here in the top and it doesn't change unless I change it in the settings, it'll always be this. Two ways to find out what the password is for this. So now you have to have a password to meet instantly with me or meet, meet immediately with me. Click here, 590345. It also shows up when I click on the word invite. In bold, they put it down here in the bottom right. So that's another place it shows. It also shows up on the copy invitation. When I hit copy invitation, nothing happens because it went to my clipboard. Five nine zero three four five. And also I could, when I go to invite, just to show you this, I could copy the URL. Let me show you that one. Sorry about that. Copy the URL. Again, it's got PWD in it, so they would just click this. They would not have to type in the password because they have the link that has the password in it. So basically, passwords are required. Let me get back to my notes real quick. So whether you schedule a meeting or do a meet now, instant meeting, which is what I just did, you gotta have a password no matter what. Um, whether you use your personal meeting ID or you generate the number automatically, you gotta have a password. A little tip from me, only use your personal meeting ID with people you meet with all the time and meet with frequently. I never use it with someone I've never met with before. We discussed how people can join the meeting by either clicking the URL that has the password in it, but if they hit join now, they gotta have the password. <clears throat> I recommend you turn off waiting rooms if you don't know how waiting rooms work. I love waiting rooms. That is where I have to admit people to a, a meeting, meaning even if enable join before host is checked, but if waiting room is turned on, waiting room overrides enable join before host. So, and you have to let people in from the waiting room. So I would see everyone in the waiting room and I could either admit people individually or all at one time. But I'm gonna show you tomorrow how to customize your waiting room with your logo, a message, how you can chat with people in the waiting room I might chat and tell somebody, hey, you're up in 10 minutes. Maybe I'm meeting individually with people or students or patients. Anyway, waiting room is a great feature, but go turn it off for right now is my suggestion. Just, just until you figure out what a waiting room is, which I'll have up tomorrow. I hope I answered all your questions. Oh, I didn't. So if you've scheduled a meeting in the future, because the password's required now, you didn't put the password in, you're gonna go to your meetings, right up here in the Zoom app. <clears throat> so let's assume this is a meeting that did not have a password, but now it will, that's what Zoom is telling you. I'm gonna go hit show meeting invitation or copy it. because you would probably need to send that out again. You know how you go into Outlook and you can change the body of a meeting and send an update? That is what I recommend because this part right here, would, if you didn't use a password, would not be in the meeting ID that you've already sent out. So I would copy and paste this and send an update out. You may wanna also just email everyone this too, say, hey, Click this link, we now have a password. One last thing I want to discuss, let me get back to Chrome. Got a lot of stuff happening with this announcement. <clears throat> so basic plan and pro plan. So if you're on a business plan or enterprise, Zoom is from that, from what they said, they're not messing with you here. I'll, again, I'll have a link to this one down below. But what, what they're doing honestly is really great. Um, I was trying to think if I can find any fault with it. The only, the only thing I don't like right now is they turned on, they enabled 
the waiting room. So that's one setting I would jump over there and turn off. Let me do that real quick and I'll be done with this video. So I went to my plan, I signed in, went to settings, control F, search for waiting room, turn it off. If you notice the default is to leave it on because reset will turn it back on. So I would leave that off. There is no save here, that's it. Feel free to ask me any questions about this in the comments down below. Don't forget to use the timestamps if you need to jump around. I appreciate all your time. Have a great day.